Preparations are underway for Mrs. Bush's funeral, which is set for Saturday morning at 11 a.m. Family and friends and dignitaries will all be in attendance. Channel 2's Lee Felici is at the funeral home that is handling those arrangements. Sian and Andy, we know that Barbara Bush's body was brought here to George H. Lewis and Sons Funeral Home last night. HBD has been here since last night also. In fact, our last check in the last few minutes, we've seen about a dozen HPD patrol vehicles here for security. And this is all part of the activity we've been seeing in the preparations to lay a former first lady to rest. At George H. Lewis and Sons Funeral Home, the flags fly at half staff for the American icon and historic woman whose body had arrived there last night, former First Lady Barbara Bush. And it's not really out of the question to say that without Barbara Bush and the support and love that she provided at home and the stability that she provided, we wouldn't have had a President H. George H.W. Bush or President George W. Bush or Governor Jeb Bush. She was that important to their life. Her impact was far reaching and close to home. Peter Roussel, George H.W. Bush's press secretary, thought of the former first lady as a second mother. She cares. She cares about people. She cares about situations. And I have been the beneficiary of that many, many times in my life. And a third quality she has is an incredible sense of humor. I would also say she is the most genuine, down to earth, straightforward person I think I ever met. Experts say Barbara Bush crossed with ease what now is considered harder drawn lines between political parties. I don't think we've really had any first lady since Barbara Bush who really embodied that spirit of Americans first, Democrats and Republicans second. And I think she'll be sorely missed because of that. So true. So we have been learning about where you can send condolences. We know that a national condolence book has been set up at the White House Visitor Center. And for locally, you can send condolences to the address you see on your screen. We're live in Tanglewood. Lee Felici, KPRC, Channel 2 News. Lee, thank you.